Hello there, HQTs. Now, former England captain Wayne Rooney got a wild welcome when he stopped by a pub for the World Cup game yesterday in Washington, D.C. The Wonder Boy rolled through the watch party for a generous seven minutes, taking selfies with ecstatic fans. Now, he's just joined what some are calling MLS's worst club, DC United. So is he destined to be an MLS legend or take an L? Let me know in the chat. I need your opinions. I'm Shazza Carpenter, your quintessential quizzer, and this is HQ Trivia, where what you know can win you dough. The rules here are simple. I'm going to ask you a series of questions from easy to hard. You've got 10 seconds to tap the answer. If you get it correct, you move on. Answer all 12 right, you win or split the cash. Secure those extra lives by inviting friends to HQ using your code you can use one per game, just not on the final round. And tonight we are giving away a very welcome £1,000. That's enough for your own epic watch party, a trip to DC to see Ronaldo in action, or a pub night out if all goes wrong. But before you spray it, you've got to slay it. Let's get to the quizzing. Here we go with Q1. Buzz Lightyear's famous catchphrase was to infinity and where? Birmingham, Brian, beyond... Buzz Lightyear. Maybe we'll take you there in this game. It may seem like an alien landscape, but Birmingham is very much on this side of infinity. Just like Bed Bath, it's beyond infinity and beyond. 127,000 of you with the beyond great answer there. I've always wanted a cool catchphrase like Buzz, but it seems I'm stuck with Durham, Cantona and Brutal. That's just savage. Q2, which website's name is an anagram of the word movie? Vimeo, Twitch, YouTube. Gotta make a movie out of this one. HQTs. You can't spell Twitch without Twit, and you're about to feel like one of those if you picked it here. YouTube for artists. It's Vimeo is the answer that we were looking for. 118,000 of you tubing on to the next round. The video sharing website was launched back in 2004 when anagrams were still cool. Not so cool anymore, though. We see you out there, players. Hello to Abina1994, who's been job hunting in this London heat. Somebody hire Abina, please. She deserves it. Shiraz Muhammad Ali is in exam mode. Hi to Jill Temps, who's left Alex and his sister's home for a spa weekend. Nice one. Toby and Izzy just had their first victory. Congrats to you. Also, congrats to Nikki in Norfolk on the new job. Well done. And shout out to Brooke running race for life on Sunday. All right. Good luck to all of you players. And here we go with Q three, which practice involves raising small amounts of money from a large number of people. Clown watching, crowdfunding, squatting. There's a large amount of cash up for grabs tonight. Seems like everyone is at it, but what's the official term for their begging? It's annoying, but legal, and it's called crowdfunding. A crowd, if you got that right, 116,000 if you did. Instead of the traditional model of asking a few people for large sums of money, crowdfunding asks many people for small amounts. Whatever works, right? Do not forget HQTs. This Sunday at 9 p.m. is our big game. We'll be giving away 8,000 pounds, eight cheese. You do not want to miss it. Invite a new friend for an extra life. It could help you win big. On to Q4. Who was the first person to walk on the moon? Frank Sinatra, Louis Armstrong, Neil Armstrong. Not to moonwalk, but to walk on the moon. Now, these are three names known throughout the world, but who was the first person to set foot on a different one? Talking the talk and walking that walk. It was Neil Armstrong was the first, wasn't he? 112,000 of your moon walking on to the next round. Sinatra may have sung Fly Me to the Moon, but Neil was the first guy to actually do it. Q5, Cow Tower and Dragon Hall are medieval structures located in which English city? Norwich, Newcastle, Nottingham. We're getting medieval on ya. They both sound like they belong in Westeros, but where can you visit them in reality? The epicenter of East Anglia. 
Norwich. Who had the knowledge for that one? 47,000 of you did. That was a brutal question because we lost 60,000 of you there, sadly. The beefy tower was named after the meadow it stands in, while Dragon Hall only settled on its lit name in 1986. Q6, the US sitcom Friends was filmed in front of a live studio audience in which city? New York, Chicago, Los Angeles. So no canned laughter needed. It's still going out to audiences across the world, but where was the only place to see friends in the flesh? Swapping apples for angels. Los Angeles, Hollywood we're talking about here. And that was a savage question. 35,000 of you down here on Q6. 12,563 of you mates are still in the game. Now, despite being set in New York, only a few shots of buildings were actually filmed there. Yeah, that tripped you guys up. Q7, according to a 2017 report, what's the most popular name for a male cat in the UK? Max, Charlie, Alfie. What happened to real cat names like Snowy and Smokey? My cats I grew up with. They'll completely ignore whatever you call them, but which of these names fell on the most deaf ears? Born to bite fingers. Charlie is the most popular cat name. 5,274 of you with the perfect choice. Poppy topped the female list. Well, we'll have to wait a few months to see Alfie and Cat in the same room again. Q8, which Broad City actress also stars in 2017's Rough Night. Zoe Kravitz, Alana Glazer, Abby Jacobson. It's going to be a rough night if you get this wrong because you are so close. Three brilliant broads, but who's rocking both of these on her IMDb page? From figuring out her life to taking somebody else's, it's Alana Glazer. That's who we're talking about here. That was a toughie. 1,371 of you glazed past that one. Glazer co-created, co-wrote, and co-starred in Broad City, so she's triply to blame for our lols. Q9, which of the following originated in Persia? Laminated glass, synthetic dye, Venetian blinds. What's your gut telling you? Or your head, even better. Persia was a cradle of civilization, but which of these items were born there? A copyright case hundreds of years in the making. It's Venetian blinds. They're actually Persian, 530 if you weren't blind to that fact there. Venetian traders discovered these slatted blinds in Persia and brought the innovative idea home with them. Those thieves. Q10, which of these Soviet leaders spent the longest time in power? Mikhail Gorbachev, Leonid Brezhnev, Nikita Khrushchev. Who was running things the longest? Surviving a year was pretty impressive in the USSR, but who stayed at the top for 18 of them? Losing the space race, but winning this one is Leonid Brezhnev. That's who, 199 of your running tings in this game. Stalin spent 29 years in power, but Gorbachev managed to undo most of his nasty work in just six years. The penultimate round players, here we go, Q11. In which city did a US mining heiress found an art gallery in the 1950s? Venice, Rome, Milan. Must be a nice life as an heiress. The Solomon Guggenheim Museum stands in New York, but where will you find the Peggy Guggenheim collection? Swapping roads for rivers. It's Venice. Wish I was there right now. Venice, you're winning answer. 112 of you got that right. Gondolas at the ready, because we're punting into the final round. With 112 players left in the game, another six using their extra lives to get back in, and 1,000 pounds up for grabs. Good luck on this Friday night. Q12, which video game franchise made its debut most recently? Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, Tekken. It's a fight to the finish. Good luck, players. They've been beating seven bells out of each other for years, but who was the last to get involved? Street Fighter started the brawl, throwing its first hard duken, that was fun to say, in 1987, last to the table, but packing a three-dimensional punch. It's Tekken for the win. Take that. And we've got 50 winners, my lovelies. <laughs> Thank you.
What an awesome win by our 50 winners. Absolutely incredible on this Friday night. You're taking home 20 pounds. How about that? We've got Amy2711. We've got Bob Tanner7 on the copter right there. We've got John Dixon20 with his puck. Rowan SM and a bunch of other winners as well. What are you going to do with that 20 pounds? Maybe donate it to crowdfund, maybe not. Maybe buy Charlie some treats or go visit Cow Tower. There's a lot you can do with 20 pounds and it's the weekend. So go spend it wisely. All right, congratulations again. What a victory, HQTs. An epic game as always. I'm Sharon Carpenter. You can hit me on the socials in the usual place. I'm right here. Okay, let me know how you scored tonight. I can't wait to find out. And we'll be back tomorrow at 9 p.m. with some more cash for you to compete for. Yeah, 1,000 pounds up for grabs. Until then, winners enjoy your earnings. Players enjoy your learnings. Have a great night, my lovelies. I'll see you soon. Bye.